Great white sharks are fierce predators. Whale sharks are gentle giants, but you guys already know about those. You want to find out more about the rarest sharks there is, and by golly did you come to the right place. The following sharks are the rarest of the rare, especially number one, so make sure to stick around for that. Here are 10 of the rarest sharks hidden in the ocean. Number 10. The Frilled Shark. I figured I'd start things off with a shark that has been featured quite frequently on this channel. If the video title has the words weird or terrifying in it, you'll probably see this animal on that list. I'm talking about, of course, the frilled shark. The frilled shark, one of the two living shark species of the Clemodesilicidae family, usually lives around 1500 meters deep, but in Japan can be found, if you're really lucky, between 50 and 200 meters. After footage of this shark was recorded six years ago, it was immediately dubbed a prehistoric shark or a living fossil, because in all honesty, you'd expect to find that mug in a natural history museum, not while scuba diving off the coast of Japan. The frilled shark can reach a length of four meters and has a very long and flexible jaw that allows it to feed on large prey, such as the Pacific octopus and other sharks. Aside from that, nothing much is really known about this shark, really. Mainly due to the fact that it is rarely seen, much less caught. Number 9. The Sharp-Nosed Seven-Gill Shark Given that the Sharp-Nosed Seven-Gill Shark can be found in tropical and temperate regions of six out of seven continents, you'd think that scientists would know more about these creatures. But you'd be wrong. Here are just about what we know about it. First, and most obvious, is the fact that it has seven gill slits, which is one more gill slit than most sharks. In the Western Atlantic Ocean, this shark is distributed from North Carolina and Northern Gulf of Mexico to Cuba and from Venezuela south to Argentina, and in the Eastern Atlantic from Morocco to Namibia, including the Mediterranean Sea. And it's also found in the Indian Ocean in waters off southwestern India, including Aldabra Island, Southern Mozambique, and South Africa. Distribution in the Pacific Ocean occurs from Japan to China, Indonesia, Australia, and New Zealand, as well as off the coast of northern Chile. See what I mean about these sharks being found almost everywhere? Like the frilled shark, it's a deep water species, hence the reason why we know so little about them. It prefers to hang out in waters 3,280 feet deep, where it could be found idly gliding near the ocean floor. Number 8. The Ghost Shark Dive deep, deep down into the ocean, long past the point where the sun's rays can penetrate, and you will enter the realm of the ghost sharks. Also called chimeras, ghost sharks are dead-eyed, wing-finned fish, rarely seen by people. Relatives of sharks and rays, these deep-sea denizens split off from these other groups some 300 million years ago. Even though ghost sharks have been gliding through the depths since long before the dinosaurs, we still know very little about them. These guys are so rare that it was only first filmed in 2009. The Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute in California sent an ROV 6,700 feet down into the water off the coast of California. They weren't even looking for ghost sharks and came upon them by sheer dumb luck. Number 7. The Goblin Shark Another deep sea dweller that makes regular appearances on our channel. But with a face like that, why shouldn't it? Goblin sharks have a protruding snout that looks like a pointy sword. Just below the snout area is a set of protruding jaws that appear to be mismatched for the shark's face. It's as if evolution spun the wheel of ugly and the goblin shark lost in the worst possible way. What's more, these sharks aren't your stereotypical gray color. Instead, their skin has a distinct pink hue. If you're ever in water when a goblin shark passes by, you'll find yourself dwarfed in size. They can grow as big as 5.5 meters in length. Fortunately, you're unlikely to encounter such a beast. These sharks typically cruise way down at 920 meters, and the older they get, the deeper they dive. As with a lot of deep sea animals, science knows very little about goblin sharks. No one knows exactly how they reproduce, and a pregnant female has never been captured. So, like the goblins of fairy tales, these fish remain a mysterious and fantastic example of just how diverse life on Earth can be. Number 6. The Angular Rough Shark The Angular Rough Shark is found in the Eastern Atlantic, from Norway all the way down to South Africa and throughout the Mediterranean at depths between 60 and 660 meters. They were once present in the Adriatic and Aegean seas, but are now rare in these areas. When they reach maturity, both females and males are between 50 and 70 centimeters, with females being slightly longer. 
At full size, they are usually around 1 meter, but have been known to grow to 1.5 meters. Angular rough sharks produce between 10 to 12 pups annually, and they are usually between 20 and 24 centimeters at birth. Little is known about this rare shark species. Its IUCN status is vulnerable, with bycatch and commercial fishing considered a significant threat. It has been reported that fishermen in the Mediterranean believe rough sharks to be bad luck and discard them immediately on capture. There is little fisheries data on the species, so it's not known how many are caught as bycatch and then discarded out at sea. If not discarded, the angular rough shark is used for fish meal, for its oil, or is smoked and dried for human consumption. Number 5. The Scalloped Hammerhead Shark With that wide, thick head shaped like a double-headed hammer, it's easy to identify a hammerhead shark. You can tell it from other hammerheads by the ridges along the front edge of its head. The shark's eyes and nostrils are located at the extreme ends of its head. Perhaps this unusual shape gives the sharks added lift and lets them make sharper turns than other sharks. The location of the eyes may also allow better stereoscopic vision. The broad shape of the head enables the shark's sensing organs, called the ampullae of Lorenzini, to find prey buried in the sand. In general, hammerheads aren't aggressive towards humans, although on rare occasions larger sharks have attacked people. Their uncommonly small mouths are much better suited for eating fishes. Scalloped hammerheads commonly prey on stingrays. One shark was found with 96 venomous stingray barbs embedded in its mouth and jaws. We don't know much about how the barbs affect the sharks or how the sharks get rid of them. Unfortunately, commercial fisheries catch hammerheads for their oil, meat, and skin, making them extremely rare and classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. Number 4. The Dusky Shark The Dusky Shark swims in tropical and temperate oceans worldwide, cruising from depths of 1,300 feet near the continental shelf all the way into the surf zone and other shallow inshore waters. Also known as bronze or black whalers are long-distance swimmers known for seasonal, temperature-driven migrations that males and females undertake in separate groups. Local patterns vary, but the sharks often head toward the poles in summer and return to the equator in winter on sea voyages that have been known to top 2,000 nautical miles. They are apex predators, meaning they are on the top of the food chain and waters where they reside. That is, until humans developed a taste for them, particularly their fins. Since the 70s, their population has declined 80 to 85 percent in the western Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico due to the high value of their fins for shark fin soup, their meat and skin, and their liver oil. Commercial and recreational fishing for these sharks on the western Atlantic and Gulf was banned in 2000, but they are often accidentally caught on long lines and other fishing gear, with very high mortality rates. And of course, the illegal trade for their fins is still prevalent. Number 3. The Saddled Swell Shark The Saddled Swell Shark is a species of cat shark endemic to eastern Australia. Like all cat sharks, their bottom feeders have elongated cat-like eyes and two small dorsal fins set far back. They're mostly nocturnal and often sleep in groups during the day. Their diet consists of bony fishes and bottom-dwelling crustaceans and cephalopods. Their name comes from the saddles on their dorsal side. An interesting defense mechanism of this shark is that, when it's scared, it can bend its entire body into the shape of a U and suck up water into its stomach, markedly increasing its size and making it difficult to bite. The IUCN classifies them as a highly vulnerable species due to their rarity and the limited size of their range, which also are areas where trawl fishing is a regular occurrence. As a result, what little of these fish remain is often caught as bycatch, further dwindling their numbers. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is a photo of a shark with, obviously, too many heads. Now, while most of you will immediately jump to the conclusion that this photo is a result of an editing trick, I would say you are 100% correct, because I actually believe this comes from an Asylum movie, Five-Headed Shark Attack. But what if I tell you that there exists a multi-headed shark that's so rare it hasn't even been born yet? Find out what it is next with number two. The Two-Headed Shark Two-headed sharks may sound like a figment of the big screen, and actually kind of are in some cases, but they do exist, and more are turning up worldwide. A few years ago on Florida, fishermen hauled in a bull shark whose uterus contained a two-headed fetus. In 2008, another fisherman discovered a two-headed blue shark embryo in the Indian Ocean. And a 2011 study described conjoined twins discovered in blue sharks caught in the Gulf of California and northwestern Mexico. 
Blue sharks have produced the most recorded two-eyed embryos because they carry so many babies. Up to 50 at a time, actually. Spanish researchers have identified an embryo of an Atlantic sawtail cat shark with two heads. While raising sharks for human health research in the laboratory, a team noticed the unusual embryo in a see-through shark egg. The cat shark embryo was not your average two-headed beast. It's the first such specimen known from an oviparous shark species, or a shark that lays eggs. So, there you go. Two-headed sharks actually exist. Whether or not they survive to at least being born is a whole different situation, though. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Megamouth Shark The Megamouth Shark is a rare shark and a large species, reaching weights of 2,700 pounds. Despite its huge size, it is the smallest of the three species of filter-feeding sharks, behind the whale shark and the basking shark. The Megamouth Shark gets its name from the remarkably large circular mouth. On an individual approximately 16 feet in length, the mouth is approximately 4 feet across. This species has only been observed in the wild a few times, and less than 60 individuals are known by a scientist to ever be captured or observed. Though it is one of the largest sharks in the world, the Megamouth Shark was only discovered by scientists in 1976. Even large species may go undiscovered in the large deep sea. As commercial fisheries keep pushing to deeper depths to target new species to market as food, new discoveries are constantly being made. The first known Megamouth shark was accidentally captured when it became entangled in a sea anchor attached to a deep naval equipment near Hawaii. Since that time, only a relatively few dozen individuals have ever been captured, including a very small number of juveniles, making this truly one of the rarest sharks in the world. Did you learn about a shark that you've never encountered before? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about rare animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.